quite rightly, the people of Tristan da Cunha are to live near the sea. Overlooking Southampton Water, their new homes are at the former RAF station at Calshot. Everything's been done to make them comfortable in what used to be married quarters. Some things we take for granted are novelties to the islanders, but they're reported to be very grateful for the arrangements made for them and soon settled in. A newly married couple followed tradition. Larders were already stocked and the good old copper tradition was followed too. All the same, they must be missing their faraway island. liner Amazon awaited at Tilbury some very special passengers, a party of 63, homeward bound for Tristan da Cunha. They're the first body of islanders who have decided to go back. Tristan was completely evacuated in 61, when the erupting volcano made it untenable. Last August, six men went back to see if it could be made habitable again. They said it could, and after weighing the pros and cons, the first batch are leading the return home. A priest gave them his blessing. To go back was a big decision, but only a handful voted to remain in England. Their headman, Willie Repetto, said it was wonderful to be going home. Good luck was wished by Colonial Undersecretary Nigel Fisher. The main body, about 200, will return next October. Newlywed Peter and Pat Repetto have some regrets at leaving England, but none of them thought much of the Russian tear of life here. And after their small island in the South Atlantic, it's not to be wondered at. 